Hey everybody, so as you get started on MP3, there's a small change that we need to make in order to allow the test suites to work a little bit better. And this is actually fixing a bug that we've had with this particular MP for, for a while now, um, but it started to affect some people. Um, and so I wanna show you how to fix it. Now, there are two parts to this. So the first part is a new set of test suites that we're gonna post along with the MP. And I'm just gonna replace the old ones um, so you're going to want it to take those new test suites and move them into place, but you probably want to make these changes first. So once you install the new test suites, they actually won't compile anymore because they're we're relying on a new method that we're about to create. Um, so you can make these changes first that I'm about to show you. Um, make sure they work, make sure your code is still compiling and, and, and running, um, and then move in the new test suites into place and everything should work at that point. Note that this uh, problem really only affects your ability to pass the very last part of the MP3 uh, checkpoint. Uh, and so it shouldn't really impede your progress uh, towards the points that you need for the early deadline. Okay, but let's get started. So uh, the thing we need to change um, is over here in the client. All right, so I'm opening up my client. Um, and you know what? Hold on a sec. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me use the starter code rather than my solution set. Uh, all right, so I have my client. Um, over here and so and so this is what the code looks like that we gave you so if I scroll down here there's this uh, there's this method called start and you'll see this is a pattern that's known as a, a singleton so essentially the goal here is to make sure there's only one copy of the client at any point um, and so what it does is it says you know if uh, if there's uh, already a client return that client otherwise return create a new one and set instance to that variable um, what we're gonna do here is we're going to create a new method, okay? So I'm going to copy and paste this, and this is going to be called start testing. Uh, this is going to be used by the test suites. Uh, for this, you know, we can create, you know, uh, uh, you can just copy the Java doc if you want, um, and I'll I'll say for testing, um, and and this in this case we're always going to create a new one because this is really only going to be used um, by the test suite. Okay, so I added a Java doc. Pretty straightforward. And, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here, and this is a case where we have a private constructor. Uh, and I'm gonna add a field to my private constructor. Uh, that field is gonna be called testing, uh, and it's a boolean, right? So I'll say boolean testing. So this now takes a parameter. You'll see that uh, in both cases up here, it's now reminding me that I need to add this. Uh, so in the default method, I'm gonna put false. Uh, and then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify this to say return, oh, Typing, return new client and true. So this will mark this as a testing client. Okay, so that's the beginning. Um, and now there's, uh, oh, and it's mad about this. Let's just make this final uh, to make check style uh, less unhappy. Okay, good. All right, so now the question is, well, I've added this flag, what am I doing with it? So let me show you. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if uh, not, so if testing, this is how we're gonna set up the request queue. I'm gonna put it, under this if statement. Um, otherwise, and you could do this either way, obviously this is an if else. So else, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of a, a much simpler way to set up my, my request queue. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Boom, and I can, I can get rid of all these new lines because I don't need it a little bit, uh, a little bit easier this way. Uh, reformat stuff, that should, I think, clear off that. That's just a, some white space. Okay, now we're done. Uh, I think it's angry about something. Oh, well, this, this is the starter code. So there's some text errors in here that we gave to you. All right, that's it. All right, so, so let's look at this again. Let me just kind of show, show you what we did here. Um, we added a new method called start testing. Uh, and this is going to be used by the new test suites that we're going to provide uh, to start the client in a way that's slightly different for testing that allows us to avoid certain types of failures that have been affecting uh, some of you. Um, down here, what we do, and, and we've, we've modified our private constructor to take this new parameter. What we do down here is that we branch based on the value of testing that's passed to the private constructor, and that controls how we set up the request queue. Um, so once you have things looking like this, and I'll post the exact code that you need to kind of find and replace uh, in uh, the MP write-up. Uh, but once your code is looking like this, you should be good to go. Now, now again, uh, I, can, I should be able to run the MP0 test suites right now, um, and everything should still work. So you can make these changes because right now nothing is calling start testing, right? So we really haven't changed the behavior uh, of, of the method that we were using in the past. 
there's, there's nothing that's actually calling start testing. Um, now, uh, once you make this change, everything should still compile. It might change the behavior of some of the test suites. The next thing to do is to take the new MP3 test suite that we post and move that into position in your, in your project, right? So you have the, the new MP3 test suites. Um, this is going to fail because, uh, I, don't, I don't know why it's, oh yeah, I added this as part of our, uh, example last time, right? Um, okay. So, so this is fine. Th this works out okay. Um, and this is the step that you need to take to get, uh, your, your project to the point where, uh, you can continue work on MP3. Now, one thing I want to warn you is that these changes, we're going to start testing using these changes. So our test suites are going to start relying on this start testing method. So until you get this finished, if you push to try to get some, some points and you haven't made these changes, your code won't compile because the test suites that we're going to start using on the auto grader, you know, in a few hours from now, uh, will be the ones that rely on that start testing method. Okay. Uh, best of luck on MP3.